Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. And uh, here of course we have the latest box that I've gotten and this is the grounds kit. Let's go ahead and open it up and check out what's inside. All right everybody, well as you can see here are the products in the, uh, the package this time. Uh, first thing we'll go off with is their nice little card here. And uh, as you can see, it says Essential Backwoods Survival Tips. And on the back here, it says Survival 101. And then it goes down through, it says where exactly to hang a bear bag, how to baton wood with a knife, and a water jug lantern hack. And then it gives you some information on each one of those little topics. Uh, we, of course, have three or four parts here. And uh, let's just try with this one. We have this little package right here. And this is by Matador, and these are called reties. Uh, basically, what these are look, is uh, they're basically zip ties. But the advantage of these is that the fact that these ones, you don't have to, I guess, uh, cut them and, uh, you know, and then they're only a one, one and done kind of thing. They actually are pretty ingenious the way they're designed here. Uh, this is kind of a rubberized type material, as I can tell. Uh, a little more rubbery than the, the hard plastic ones. But as you can see, there is a, uh, a nice loop. You can, of course, loop it around or whatever. But what's cool is it comes with one of those little squeeze clip things. Um, I'm sure you've seen it on drawstrings and things like that, like for a hoodie. Uh, and you squeeze that little thing and it slides up and down and uh, will adjust your sizing. And then the opening here is big enough to go just over top of that. And we can, of course, then loop it around whatever we want, feed that through. And then uh, the nice thing is, is then, okay, we wanna cinch it down, we'll take it down to where we want it. We slide this down and it makes a perp it's perpendicular to the opening. So now your stuff is secure, but you can, of course, still open it up and loosen it or take it all the way off. Really nice idea, definitely way better than zip ties. Now, the next one we've got is, uh, let's see, this is called the Hero Clip. And uh, as you can see, it kind of looks like a carabiner, and that's pretty much what it is. Um, it's used for a handful of different things, I guess. Right here, first thing off, it does say that it is rated to hold 60 pounds. Now, this is metal and uh, it does have a nice little ring clip right there with the hook so that uh, secures things right there but then you have this additional hook with a compounding type of pivot point right there and uh, unfortunately they used real things on here so uh, those real zip ties so I'm not pulling those off just yet but uh, as you can see this will rotate around so you can change directions and things like that uh, but it's set up so that it can hang off of your belt. You can put maybe a water bottle or something on here. You can throw it on your belt or on your backpack or anything like that. Uh, it shows, uh, let's see, it has a rubber end cap. It has the, of course, the hook. It folds down, which actually this will fold all the way down so it's just one solid piece instead of sticking up like that. And that's the advantage of having that compound system right there. Uh, it has a 360 degree rotating head, which we saw. You can sit here and rotate that all the way around. And then let's see, it has a wide gate, which is basically the opening right here. It's not one of those little tiny small ones. So you can, uh, of course, put some heavy stuff in there. You can throw some rope in there if you're going to use rope to hold up uh, maybe a bear bag, as, as was mentioned before. And uh, let's see, we've also got... It says that it folds and nests, which is, of course, that folding down part that we were talking about. All right, next one we've got is by Climate, and it is called the V-Seat. So as you can see, it is just basically a rolled up piece right here. Let's go ahead and take this off. So we've got one of those little Velcro bands there. And then as we unroll it, you can see it folds out to the size roughly of a Basically, that's about the same size as a, um, a dining room chair seat. Uh, it does have a little valve right here, and then... There we go. 
So now we've got a padded seat. It just fills up with air there. Uh, pretty nice, actually. Um, real simple. It's not flimsy material. It, it's not the super cheap stuff, but it's not super thick um, to where it's going to be weighty or anything like that. And this is just a little screw valve. So just like um, the self-inflating pillows and things like that, um, this is basically the same idea. Uh, this isn't self-inflating, obviously, so you are going to have to blow air into it. And then just release it, and it just drains back out. And of course, you can then put it back in your Velcro there. So very, very nice. I like the idea for sure. And then the last one, of course, right here is going to be my favorite. I am kind of a, a knife guy. I'm not a connoisseur. I just enjoy knives. I don't necessarily know everything about them. There are uh, lots of things that uh, you can look for in a knife. And uh, I have some basics, but there's a lot more to it, so I am not an authority on it. Obviously, this is by SOG, or S-O-G. On the back here, we have some basic instructions or information on it. It is a stone wash SOG sharp blade, is what, what they call it. It includes a sheath, which is this digital camo sheath, and this is a hardened type plastic. And then it has a textured rubber handle, which feels rather nice. It's, it, it's a little grippy, but it's still smooth. And uh, yeah, it's not, and the knife itself, it is not real heavy at all. It's, it's a lot lighter than I expected. Um, we're looking at, that's between two and three quarters thick. And then you've got the ridges on the back. Of course, that's good for getting a better purchase with your thumb. Also, you can use that for when you're striking something like a fire steel, so you don't have to use the blade and dull that out. It does have that kind of nice matte finish to it. And uh, it does, of course, also have an opening for a lanyard if you need to uh, put something like that on there. The handle is not super thick. It's not this big, bulky one. Of course, with a lighter knife, I don't think that you really need one like that. Uh, let's, let's try something out here. We'll see how, how we do on the the hair test and yep it's taking the hair right off all the way down to the tip not a problem at all so sharp right out of the box now of course with the sheath when you slide it into the sheath it then takes part of the sheath and makes it into like a fishing line or a rope or a cordage cutter something like that or even a seat belt cutter if you have it on you when you're in the car and you have to get out it does have a simple belt clip there. Uh, it just slides down. It has the back hook so it'll stay in there and, uh, and everything. And then this is pretty secure in there. Still not, it's not hard to take out, but it's not something that's going to fall. Let's see, it says it is obviously a fixed blade. It is 3.8 inches, so just under 4 inches. That is considered a stone wash finish. And the overall is eight and three quarter inches long from tip to uh, tip to base there. Uh, anyhow, the blade steel is the 7CR17 MOV. Uh, it does have a again a rubber handle, and of course, it comes with the sheath. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for me today. We have, uh, of course, the four products here. They seem pretty nice. Uh, again, these boxes are, they're about $45, $45 plus shipping or tax or whatever. And so they round out to about $50. Uh, for 50 bucks, I would say that's not bad. This is a pretty nice knife and that would take up most of the cost, um, I would think in general. Uh, the hero clip, the, the seat and everything else, I think I really got my money's worth on this one. Of course, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there. There's going to be a link to it down there in the description below. If you guys want to get this since the first time you're getting one from Bespoke Post, use that link and you will get $20 off your first box. So uh, go ahead and save yourself a little bit of money. Get a $50 box for $30. Bucks. That's a pretty nice deal. Also, on your way down or on your way back up, when you're checking that out, don't forget to check out our social media. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. 
and ring that little bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys, well, my name's Cougar. This is the World of Me, another episode from the Bespoke Post series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.